Ginger, and I'm super excited to be here teaching your kinder gym class today. Teaching from my home to yours is a little bit different because usually we would be in the gymnastics room, but we can still have lots of fun doing gymnastics from home. But first, let's all go warm up with Lily Pad. Hi gymnasts, me and my friend Poppy are here to lead us through a warm up today. Before we do that, we need to clear our space. Poppy, help me clean up. Can you grab the pillow? Nope, we're gonna clean up the pillow. We can catch a great ear. Great idea. Today we are going to play my favorite gymnastics game. It's called Bones No Bones. Hi Sierra. So when we play, when I say bones, we are going to be up and moving. Can you run in place with me, Poppy? Run super fast in place. And when I say no bones, we're gonna softly fall to the floor like we have no bones in our body. Buddy wants to play too. Hi, Buddy. <laughs> Okay, let's stand up. And ready, set, running bones, run super fast. You can run in place or you can run in a small circle. Good running, Poppy. My friends at home are doing some good running too. And no bones. Fall softly and catch yourself. <laughs> good no bones, Poppy. This time, let's do bunny hop bones. So we're gonna stand up, hands on our hips, and we're gonna jump like a bunny. And we can even put our hands out in front like a bunny. Good bunny hops. And no bones. <laughs> now, this time, let's do some tippy toe walk bones. Poppy and my friends at home, let's stand up really tall on our tippy toes, reach up to the sky, and we can walk in place or in a small circle. Poppy wants to walk in a circle. Now let's do some step kick bones. So we can keep our hands on our hips and we're gonna kick one foot out in front. One foot out in front. Oh, watch out, Poppy. <laughs> no. And no bones. Poppy, which one should we do for our very last bones? <laughs> Poppy had a crazy no bones. Should we do running really fast bones? Okay, ready, set, run as fast as you can bones. Super duper fast. Oh my goodness, you're all running so fast. Just like Poppy and me. Oh, and three, two, one. No bones. Gently to the floor. <laughs> okay, Poppy, say bye to our friends at home. The rest of you can stay on and we will do some gymnastics in just a few moments. Thanks for warming us up today, Lilypad. I'm super excited that you have joined me here today on Pajama Day. So if you are not already in your pajamas like I am, go ahead and pause the video and go change. Before we get started, let's also make sure that we have a clear space to do gymnastics. Make sure that you move any chairs or coffee tables, toys or anything that might be in your way out of the way just a little bit so you have lots of room to do gymnastics. Alright, now we're going to get started with our lesson for today. We're going to start off with floor. For floor today, we are going to be working on levers. And levers are one of my favorite things, so I'm super excited to get to share this with you. So some helpful things to remember when we're doing our levers is that we want to try and stay in a teeter-totter shape while we're doing them. A teeter-totter shape looks kind of like this. So in a lever, I'm going to pick my back leg up while my arms are up by my ears and my arms are going to go down to the ground. So I want to make sure I stay on my one leg and that as my hands go down, my back foot goes up. Just like that. Another important thing is that when our hands reach the ground, we want to make sure that we put our palms on the ground and not just our fingertips on the ground. All the way like this. The third important thing to remember is that we want to try and keep our head looking forward and our shoulders down so that we don't have our head looking just down like this because we're a little bit more wobbly. We want to try and keep our head facing forward, like towards the camera. One more helpful thing is to try and make sure you keep your legs straight and your toe pointed in the back. You can do levers picking up 
your right leg, like I just showed, or your left leg, which looks like this. We're gonna do five on each leg together. One. Two. Three. See how I'm staying in my teeter-totter shape? Are you looking towards me? Four. Great job. And five. All right, we're going to do five where we pick our left leg up now. One. Two. It's okay if you wobble a little bit like I am. Three. Four. And five. Fantastic work. All right, next we're gonna get a little bit trickier and we're gonna try adding a small hop into our levers. So when we do this, we're gonna pick our, our foot that's on the ground up just a little bit. It can be a really small hop or a little bit bigger of a hop, whatever you're comfortable with. So it looks like this. I'm gonna put my hands on the ground and I'm gonna jump my bottom foot up and then come standing back up. Some important things to remember for our levers with a hop is that once our hands reach the ground, we want to try and pick our foot up and hop, and then as soon as our foot comes back to the ground, we want to pick our hands up. These can also be done with your right leg being picked up or your left leg being picked up. So we're going to try five of each of those per side. One. Two, try and see if you can get your hop to be just a little tiny bit bigger each time. Three. Four. And five. All right, we're gonna pick our left leg up now and do the same thing, trying to get our foot just a little bit bigger each time. everybody. All right, we are going to take a quick water break and then we are going to come back and get ready for beam. All right, now that we have had a water break, we are going to get ready for beam. So, for beam today, you're going to need to have something to use as a beam. I'm going to use this rolled up towel. You could also use a rolled up towel or you could use a rolled up blanket or you could ask an adult's permission if you could put a tape line on the floor. Maybe you have a line in your concrete that you want to use or a line on your wood floor. Anything that you can think of that could be a straight line that you know you can use, it can be a beam. So for today on beam, we are going to be working on balance. This is a super fun thing to work on because it helps us to be able to stay on the beam for longer and not fall off or be as wobbly. So some important things when we're working on our balance are to squeeze our tummy muscles. So we wanna imagine like we're squeezing our belly button into our spine. So can we all practice that together? We're gonna squeeze your belly button and try and pull it towards your spine as much as you can and release. We're gonna do that two more times. So squeeze your belly button, pull it in, squeeze those tummy muscles. Good job. And we're gonna do it one more time. Ready, squeeze those tummy muscles as tight as you can. You can do it even tighter. And release. All right, awesome job. Next thing that is important for balance is to keep our shoulders down. So we don't really want our shoulders all the way up by our ears and have chicken wings. We wanna try and keep our shoulders down. So imagine like you're wearing a heavy backpack on your back and it's pulling your shoulders down so you're standing all the way upright. 
And the third thing to remember is we want to try and keep our chin and our eyes facing forward and not looking just down at our feet because it's much easier to balance and not be quite as wobbly if we are looking straight forward or like towards the end of the beat. This is especially helpful when we're doing things where we're only on one foot or when we're doing levers and we want to try and stay balanced. It's easier if you're looking towards the end of the beam. Let's practice this a little bit now. So we're all going to climb onto our beam and we are going to stand on one foot. And we are going to have your hands on your hips or you can have your hands out by your side to help you balance. Remember, we wanna try and squeeze our tummy and keep our faces looking forward and our shoulders down so that we can balance as best we can. So we're not all wobbly like this. It's okay if you are right now though, because we're just learning. All right, we're gonna step and we're gonna stand on our left foot now and try and make sure we're doing the same thing, squeezing and making our sure our head is facing forward all right, we're gonna get a little trickier. We're gonna go back to our right foot and we're gonna do just a little bit of a hop on our right foot. Whoa, see how I almost lost my balance there? When you feel like you might be about to lose your balance, one thing that's really helpful is to bend your knees just a little bit. So if I'm on my foot and I jump and I feel really wobbly, I'm gonna bring my other foot down and I'm gonna bend my knees because it makes it easier for me to balance. I also might put my arms out to my side like an airplane to help me gain my balance back too. So let's practice that right now. We're gonna stand on one foot, we're gonna do a little bit of a hop, and then we're gonna try and make sure we put our arms out and we bend our knees and bring our other foot back to the beam so that we can balance again. So we're gonna do a little hop, and I'm gonna bring my foot down and my arms out so I can balance. All right. Let's try that on our left foot too. So we're gonna stand with our left foot on the beam. We're gonna do a little hop. I'm gonna bring my other foot down, bend my knees and put my arms out to help me balance. Great job. All right, the next thing we are going to do is one of my favorite activities and that's kind of running on the beam. So we're gonna run or walk as fast as you would like down the beam and we're gonna be as loose as we can, like a bunch of cooked spaghetti noodles. And we're gonna go all the way down to the end of the beam, and when we get to the end of the beam, we're gonna try and stop and see if you can stop without wobbling or falling off. All right, are we ready to try this? Okay, we're gonna go super fast and stop. Ooh, good job. All right, we're gonna do that five more times. Are you ready? And go super fast and stop. Good job. Almost got you that time. All right. You're gonna go super fast and stop. Ooh, nicely done. All right, three more. And stop. Good job bending your knees so you didn't fall off. All right, two more. Run and stop. Good job. All right, last one. See if you can run as speedy fast and stop. Ooh, I wobbled a little bit that time. That's why we gotta remember to squeeze our belly and stay looking forward too. All right, the next thing we are going to try is even more trickier. We are going to work on keeping our head forward. Remember our levers that we just practiced? We're gonna try a couple of levers. We're gonna do one where we pick our right leg up and one where we pick our left leg up. We wanna make sure we put our hands all the way down on the beam when we do this, and then we keep our head facing up. Let's see if we can do this and stand back up and not wobble. So when we stand back up, remember to bend your knees and put your arms out. All right, let's try one where we pick our right leg up. We're gonna go all the way down. You can do it. Good job, now we're gonna stand back up. Oh, and bend our knees and put our arms out. Great job. It's okay if you wobbled a little bit, I did too. It's also okay if you didn't get your hands quite all the way down to the beam. Just do the best you can. That's why we're practicing. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're going to pick our left leg up. We're gonna have our arms up, we're gonna look forward, 
And we're gonna try and get our hands as far down towards the beam as we can. And back up. Oh, and I'm gonna bend my knees and put my arms out so I can balance. Great job. Thank you for joining me doing theme today. We are going to get started on vault in just a second. We're gonna have another super quick water break really fast. All right, now that we have had our water break, we are going to move on to vault. Today for vault, we are going to be working on donkey kicks. We are gonna need a couple of pieces of equipment for vault today though. The first thing you're going to need is something you can use a flat surface for for a vault. I'm gonna use my towel that I had from beam, which I have now folded into a square to use as my vault where I can put my hands. You can do the same thing with a folded up blanket, or you could use a couch cushion, a carpet square. You could even make a square of tape on the floor with an adult's permission. The other thing that you're going to need for a little bit later on during vault is some sort of raised surface. I have a couple of these couch cushions, which I'm going to use. You could also use a bed or a couch, some sort of soft surface that you can put your hands on and jump your feet up just a little bit on and not crash into anything. All right, so we are going to be working on donkey kicks. And these are some of my favorite things. So you're gonna take your square and you're gonna set it kind of in the middle of your area that you're using for vault. You want to make sure you have some space on either side. So just in case while you're doing your donkey kick, you jump a little too high and roll over that you have space that you're not going to be on the ground. So for our donkey kicks, we're going to put our hands flat, meaning our palms, not our fingertips, on whatever you're using for your vault. And you're going to jump your feet up off the ground, just like this. We are going to do five of those together. One, two. Try and see if you can get your feet just a little bit higher each time. Also, making sure we keep our shoulders over our hands. We don't want them to be all the way over, but we also don't want them to be all the way back. We want them to be just over our hands. Three. Imagine when we're doing our little jump that we have a springboard there. All right, so next we are going to get whatever you're going to use as your raised surface if you are going to use it. It's totally optional. You can just keep doing these on the floor. So I'm going to get my couch cushions, which I have stacked up here. Again, I'm going to put them in the middle of my mat. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did, where we have our hands flat and we're going to jump our feet a little bit off of the ground. We're going to do five of these together as well. Again, making sure to try and get your shoulders over your hands. Not too far over, but not, not over your hands too. Also, when we're doing donkey kicks, it's fun to try and see if you can kick your ankles up towards your butt as high as you can to help you get more momentum and to jump higher. One, two, three. You're doing great, keep at it, two more. Four, and our last one, five. Fantastic job. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna do step-ons or squat jump-ons. So again, using your higher surface, or you can use your flat surface, like your towel or your tape square that you have on the floor. So for a step on, you're gonna put your hands on and you're gonna step one foot up and then the other foot up and jump off. We, you can do that, or you can do jump squat on, where we put our hands and we bring both feet up onto our mat. It can be kind of hard to jump both feet on depending on what sort of surface you're on. So make sure you ask an adult's permission before you jump up on anything. You can keep practicing donkey kicks here 
if you don't have anything that you can jump on. That's totally okay. All right, we're going to do five either step-ons or jump-ons onto your vault. One. Two. Great job. Make sure to get those arms up if you can. Three. It's okay if you wobble a little bit or have to step off of what you're doing on a vault like I just had to. Four. And our last one of these. Five. So these are great things to keep practicing at home is to do some more. Find other things that you can use as a vault. Maybe you have a step stool that you want to use to try and work on step up or jumping up onto two feet. Just make sure you have some space on both sides of whatever you're using to practice your vault on. Thank you for joining me for our lesson today. Next week is superhero week. So come dress in your best superhero outfit. I wanna see who's got the best costumes at home. Your capes or shirts, whatever you can think of to use for superhero. We'll see you next time, bye. Thank you for joining us for Gymnastics at Your Home with Kids Fair. Gymnastics is such an important skill. Your child is learning balance, coordination, agility. They're building their confidence as they work through things that they thought they couldn't do. Might have been something that they were afraid of, so it's so important. Be sure to subscribe, watch our future episodes. We'll have an episode out every week. Below, you'll see our webpage, you'll see our email. Be sure to let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. If you like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs down won't offend us. We want your feedback. Be sure to give us your comments below. Share, subscribe. Thank you for joining Gymnastics for Your Home from Kids Spirit.